guess who's going to lose? So uh, whose idea was uh, this ensemble? Actually, it was mine. Jason's. Um, Bart and Jen have been doing cosplay for years. We actually went to an event to be supportive of them. We weren't even involved with cosplay at the time. We had such a good time that we decided to try out and do our own costumes. You guys were uh, Pee Wee Herman last yes. year, right? Yes. 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 I remember you guys. So uh, I had decided I love Batman. Yeah. And I didn't want to do a typical Batman because I know people were real, you know, finicky about their Batman. And I like steampunk stuff. So I chose you can get away with a lot of different things. So I started looking it up online. And I saw what was considered more of the Gotham by Gaslight kind. And I was like, nah, I want to go something extreme. I want to get something extreme. So when I started talking to Rose about it, she's like, well, yeah, can, I want to be, can, be Robin. I want to be Robin. So, uh, so we decided to come up with this. But everything was pretty much off the top of my head. Like I had an idea in my head. So I was running back and forth to the store and picking stuff up. So that was back in March when I started. In June, we went to our very first con, which was Amazicon, which we were their guests. We went and uh, had a great time. And uh, it kind of blossomed from there. And then um, Jen and uh, Bart decided that, why don't we make a group? So since we already had uh, two superheroes, why don't we do two villains? So they selected Mr. Freeze and a gender bent dead shot. So that's how the vision. Very cool. So uh, basically, we decided as a group. Now, we had a head start, of course. We had made some improvements since June. So, uh, so uh, how did you guys develop it? Well, uh, how, or put, you know, put the physical things together. Um, a lot of what I had decided to use was not knowing, have never done it before, never knew anything about EVA foam, which now I've discovered is a wonderful product, apparently. I actually went to an old um, Played Against Sports and bought a bunch of hockey equipment. So the shoulder pads, my arm pads, my uh, bottom legs and everything are yeah. basically based off of actual hockey equipment. Then I did actual painting treatments, too. But all the leather is done, you know, leather straps all done by hand. Robbins is also, a, you know, hockey. And we just, we just painted it. With we painted it, and you know, her leg pads are shin pads. These are soccer shin pads on her arms. That, so I just, it just kept evolving and evolving and evolving. And then when Jen and Bart got involved, they were asking us, "Well, what do you think? What was she doing?" We talked about using a lot of leathers and a lot of gearing and a lot of, you know, especially with the the, the guns, you know, make them as funky as possible, make them look absurd and, and be up over the top. So that's what we did there. Now, unfortunately, like I said, we had a big head start. Um, Bart and Jen had a family tragedy they had to deal with, so their time working on their costumes got cut a lot shorter. But quite frankly, for working on theirs for only two weeks, and I'm gonna say that again, two weeks. I can't believe and it. And they came up with these magnificent yeah. costumes yeah. in two weeks. Yeah. So. yeah if, if you guys can't see, because I had to zoom out to get the whole group, all his gears are rotating on there. Like, yes. it's it's constantly yes. rotating. It is an incredible... Absolutely. Uh, He's got it hooked up to 12-volt batteries that he has to recharge. <laughs> the front clockwork isn't working right now, but he actually has to wind that up, but it actually does run. That's awesome. You know, obviously, he's got his lighting in his, you know... Uh, the one thing I did help with, actually, I should say, Rose and I helped them with, because they were on such a time crunch, Bart had made my ca previous cape and, and this, he cape, made this cape, and he made this cape. Um, we made their guns for them. Okay. Sort of as, you know, they were like, uh, we're not going to have enough time. Would you mind? I said, it's our absolute pleasure. So Rose and I actually created the Mr. Freeze gun, Deadshot's rifle, her two pistolas, and her Derringer and her garter belt. That's awesome. So that's incredible, and so so you guys were essentially working as two separate teams that had to come together. Exactly, exactly. It was a collaboration. You know, now I I do work with Bart five days a week, so <laughs> we would actually you know talk during break and lunch, and even yeah. sometimes since our benches are right next to each other, we were actually collaborating while working yeah. and coming up with ideas and bouncing and stuff. Look, there were times I would get messages on my, you know, at 12 o'clock, what do you think of this? Yeah. And I would answer in the morning well, before I even left for work. And then when I got it, I would tell him more about what I thought about what he had done. So, so. your employer didn't know it, but he's really Lucius Fox. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, yes. 
and they, they, they're very encouraging there. I work at a stained glass studio. We okay. work at a stained glass studio. That's really cool. So we actually got the opportunity to really, you know, collaborate. And, um, you know, Rose works at a, a, me- a dental office, and Jen is a, what is it again? Nuclear medicine technologist. Nuclear medicine technologist. She sounds like a super villainous already. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. And believe me, believe me, the ladies are so patient with Bart and myself. There have been many, many times I, I thought that Robin was going to uh, blow up the back cave. <laughs> so. Cool. Well, thank you for taking the time. You're and welcome. I would say good luck, but I, I, I can't believe anyone would win over you guys. Uh, someone, I don't know if I'm going to leave it in the video credit out, but someone came in and, and told them to stop winning every year. <laughs> I, you guys definitely deserve to win for the Pee Wee Herman, and I think this year as it well. It was magnificent. It's, we actually went to the, another con that they presented that at, and it was, it's fabulous. Thanks, guys. Well,